Let the contemplation of your mind and heart be on the presence and power of the precious Holy Spirit as I read to you scriptures concerning him. And as we receive the truth of God's word, let's pray over them that they might take root within you. As you hear the word and pray with faith and expectation, may you have a glorious heavenly encounter that would transform you forever. As you hear the word, believe. As you hear each prayer, agree. Genesis chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Holy Spirit, thank you that you hover over even the darkness, partnering with God's authoritative word to bring forth light. I pray now that you would move upon my life and cause something to come from what seems like a void. Let your light fill every dark corner. Let your power partner with the Father's every promise concerning me. I believe you were the breath at the beginning, and I ask you to create anew in me. Exodus chapter 31, verse 3. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with ability and intelligence, with knowledge and all craftsmanship. Holy Spirit, I know that you empower unto the supernatural, but I also know that you empower me for what may seem mundane. As you empowered the craftsmen to excellently work with earthly materials, so I pray you would empower me to accomplish my earthly tasks. Empower me to be an excellent spouse, parent, sibling, friend, student, minister, and servant of the Most High. Help me to do all things with divine excellence. Numbers 11.25 
Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him, and took some of the spirit that was on him, and put it on the seventy elders. And as soon as the spirit rested on them, they prophesied. Holy Spirit, I acknowledge that you are the appointing spirit, the one who empowers, separates, and raises leaders. Impart to me the strength and wisdom to lead. You have given to me all that I need to carry out the responsibilities that you have assigned to me. Help me to lead others as you lead me. Nehemiah 9.20 You gave your good spirit to instruct them, and did not withhold your manna from their mouth, and gave them water for their thirst. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, you are good, upright, and morally excellent. May I rejoice daily in the goodness of your nature. May I reflect your goodness as I face your goodness. Let your good light shine through me. Psalm 139, verses 7 through 12. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in the darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. Spirit of God, with thankfulness, I recognize that you are everywhere at all times. Nowhere can I go to escape your watchful eyes. You watch over my every moment, protecting and guiding me. You are always aware of me, 
help me to always be aware of you. Isaiah 11.2 And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Holy Spirit, truly, you are the sevenfold Spirit of God, the Spirit of the Lord, of wisdom, of understanding, of counsel, of might, of knowledge, and of the fear of the Lord. Exhibit in and through me every aspect of your sevenfold nature. I yield to your work. Isaiah 40, 13. Who has measured the Spirit of the Lord? Or what man shows him his counsel? Spirit of the Lord, remind me to never question your wise instructions. I confess that your thoughts and ways are higher than mine. Keep me humble and dependent upon you. Help me to be mindful of the truth that I have nothing to teach you, but everything to learn from you. Isaiah 61, 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, 
to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Holy Spirit, thank you that you've empowered me to be your representative within the earth. Guide me to the poor in spirit that I might share the good news, to the brokenhearted that you might bring them healing, to the captive that you might bring deliverance. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord, for the power you've placed upon me. Ezekiel 36, verses 26 and 27. And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. Holy Spirit, thank you for your transformative power working in my life. Thank you for changing me from the inside out, for giving to me the nature of the Heavenly Father. Incline my heart to God's Word and give me the willingness to obey. Joel 2, verses 28 and 29. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female servants in those days, I will pour out my spirit. Holy Spirit, I believe you are the promised gift from the Father. Help me to not be ashamed of you, to embrace the holy work that you do. Give me the unction to prophesy and speak to me in dreams and visions. Pour your power upon me.
Matthew 3.11 I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Dear Jesus, I thank you for baptizing me with the Holy Spirit and fire. I receive his presence that graces me to do and become all you desire. I receive that cleansing fire. Let the fire purify me entirely. Matthew 10, 20. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Spirit of my Father, help me to recognize your voice in even the most pressing and tumultuous moments that I might hear the words you are giving me to speak. Use me as a vessel. I yield my voice to you. Help me to hear you clearly that I might speak accurately. Make me sensitive to your voice. Make me your messenger. Matthew 12, 28. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Spirit of God, even the forces of darkness tremble at your very presence. With a simple command, you dissolve the darkness. You don't negotiate with the powers of hell. You dominate them. And because of your presence in me, I carry the same heavenly authority. Where I step, heaven's dominion steps. There is no spirit more powerful than you. Help me to never minimize your power or magnify the power of the enemy. For where you are, there is liberty.
John 3, verses 5 and 6. Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you for working in me the miracle of salvation in Jesus. Thank you for bringing me to life in the Spirit, which is life unto God. Thank you for spiritual eyes to see, spiritual ears to hear, and a spiritual being to experience the glory of God. I thank you sincerely. Help me to never take for granted the privilege and joy of new life in the Spirit. John 14, verses 16 and 17. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Holy Spirit, thank you for being my ever-present helper and faithful friend, for being with me when I need your comfort and peace. Let your comforting presence even now begin to cause me to be at perfect peace. Thank you for being with me every moment of every day. John chapter 16, verse 13. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. Holy Spirit, thank you for revelation knowledge, for helping me to understand God's word and will. Guide me into all truth, the truth about the Father, about the Son, about my identity in you, about the world around me, about the future, about my past, about eternity to come. Let me know, believe, and live in all truth.
Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Holy Spirit, I believe you have given me the power to be a witness. Embolden me and give me the words to speak as I share the gospel with those who have yet to believe on the Lord Jesus. Give me an unction to share truth and pierce the hearts of those who listen. Acts chapter 2, verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. Holy Spirit, I trust you. Without reservation, I ask you to enable me to speak in tongues, not just earthly tongues, but enable me to speak in my heavenly prayer language. I yield my voice to you. Pray for me, through me, as I pray in tongues. Romans chapter 5 verse 5 and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us Holy Spirit thank you for cultivating the love of God in me may I be so consumed in that divine love that when others look at me they no longer see me but Jesus. Help me to love beyond my own capacity, to love in your capacity. Help me to love God with all that I am and others as myself. May I become the love of God in action within this world.
Romans chapter 8, verses 9, 15, and 16. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if in fact the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. So, you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's Spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba Father, for his Spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. Holy Spirit, thank you for dwelling in me and affirming that I belong to Jesus. Because of your presence, I know that I'm a child of God. In moments when I doubt, remind me of God's acceptance and give to me the faith to live from the awareness of that acceptance. Help me to cry, Abba, Father. Romans chapter 8, verses 26 and 27. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying, for the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. Holy Spirit, thank you for praying for me. I rejoice knowing that the one who knows me like no one else knows me, the one who loves me like no one else loves me, prays for me like no one else can pray for me. Thank you for causing me to walk in harmony with the will of the Father. I come into agreement with your every prayer over me. First Corinthians chapter 2 verses 10 and 11 these things God has revealed to us through the Spirit for the Spirit searches everything even the depths of God for who knows a person's thoughts except the spirit of that person which is in him so also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God Spirit of God, as deep calls unto deep, so you call unto my spirit. You search the depths of God and then reveal to my spirit the same. Take me to higher heights and deeper depths in glory as you reveal to me the mysteries of the Father's nature. Thank you for sharing heavenly secrets with me.
1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? Holy Spirit, help me to remember that I am your temple. Let my hands be your hands. Heal through them. Let my eyes be your eyes. Allow me to see things, people, and situations the way you do. Let my ears be your ears. I want to hear your voice. Let my feet be your feet. Take me where you want me to go. Let my being be your being. Let my heart beat as one with yours. Crucify my will, and in its place, resurrect your own. First Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 through 7. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Holy Spirit, even though I may not feel or believe it's true, by faith I thank you that you have indeed deposited a spiritual gift within me. Help me to recognize that gift, honor that gift, use that gift, grow in that gift, and to remember the purpose of that gift. Use me to bring glory to the name of Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Spirit of the living God, you vivify, glorify, magnify, and point to Jesus. Thank you for revealing Jesus to me that I might truly behold him and be truly transformed. Help me to see him with the eyes of my heart. And as I face him, may I become a reflection of him.
Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Holy Spirit, thank you for producing the character of Christ in me. Give me the grace to surrender, that I might be more loving, joyful, peace-filled, patient, kind, morally excellent, reliable and consistent, humble and disciplined. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 13 and 14 in him you also when you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation and believed in him were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory Holy Spirit I believe you are the seal of salvation. Forgive me for ever doubting your perfect work. Because of your presence within me, I have confidence of God's acceptance of me. May I walk confidently in the assurance you bring concerning my salvation and the promises of God for my future. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption Holy Spirit I'm sorry for the things that I've done that have grieved your heart forgive me for offending and dishonoring you by doing what I shouldn't and not doing what I should help me to please you with a life of obedience. Let the way I live my life say, Welcome, Holy Spirit.
Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. Precious Spirit of God, I receive you as the wine of heaven. I confess that you bring joy and boldness. Let the flow of your Spirit continually influence every aspect of my life and being. Fill me. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Spirit of the living God, thank you for filling me with divine courage. Fear cannot have influence where your spirit is present. Because of you, I will not fear. I will not fear what the devil can do. I will not fear what man can do. I will not fear what the future may bring. I am empowered, filled with love, and self-controlled. Thank you for your presence that makes it so. Titus chapter 3 verse 5 He saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness but according to his own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit thank you that you regenerate and renew me when I become wearied by this world Remind me to come to you, that I might be refreshed in your presence.
Jude chapter 1, verse 20. But you, beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I cannot pray without you. I can't even desire to pray without you. Teach me to pray. Remind me to pray. Give me the desire to pray. Empower me when I pray. And give me the faith when I pray. I offer all prayers according to your will, with your guidance, in your power, and under your authority. Truly, you are the spirit of prayer. <laughs>